Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Just very, very briefly, the significance of the death of Jesus and why he had to shed his blood. Couldn't he have died without the blood? Hallelujah. Now listen, the realm of the spirit is a realm that walks with very definite spiritual laws hallelujah everybody says spiritual laws the realm of the spirit does not leave any chance to guesswork and the initiating of anything by man's or from man's opinion there are exact spiritual laws that must be followed through for any process to be achieved in the realm of the spirit hallelujah i just read two powerful spiritual laws the first was in ezekiel 18 the bible says the soul that sinneth any soul at all is a law the soul that sinneth it shall die in other words the price the penalty the price tag that was put upon any life that sins is death this is according to the justice of God. This is according to the laws, the irrefutable laws of the spirit. Everyone said the soul that sinneth, it shall die. It's not subject to begging, not subject to negotiation. Any soul that sins, that law catches up with the person immediately. Hallelujah. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Gender irrespective age irrespective hallelujah and then the bible tells us in hebrews chapter 9 how that without the shedding of blood in other words there is another law in the spirit that if peradventure there is any chance to help that sinner it must be with the shedding of blood hallelujah please follow me two very important laws the first law is what? The soul that sins, it shall die. That means, every time you are a sinner, there is a hand of justice upon you for as long as you are still alive. A hand of justice that keeps crying for that law to be at work in your life. Are you following me now? The Bible says the soul that sins, white sin black sin doesn't matter the soul that sins it shall die then hebrews chapter 9 tells us that if that issue of sin will ever be dealt with whoever will want to deal with that sin must initiate a process of the shedding of blood not the donation the shedding of blood 
That means the Bible tells us that that justice is irrefutable. The only chance for it to be considered and reversed is when there is a shedding of blood. Hallelujah. So what is it about blood? Not the blood of Jesus now. What is it about blood that is so powerful that even in death, it is able to initiate a negotiation? What is it about death? About blood? The blood of anything, just blood. Hallelujah. Occultist, every religion I know, this is the common ground for every religion. They respect blood and they have something to do with blood. Hallelujah. Right from the Garden of Eden, we begin to see how that when man fell, God himself stripped a lamb, a bloody lamb, and used it to cover Adam and Eve. Right from the Garden of Eden, there was the shedding of blood. And then all through the Old Testament, we see the shedding of the blood of bulls. But the question I have is, what is it about blood that makes it effective? Why not flesh? Why not water? Is it the color of the blood? Is blood anything that is just red in a human body? Is it the reddish color that gives it power? Because many people know that the blood saves. But we do not know what is it in the blood that is so powerful that even Satan and death, the last enemy to be destroyed, can respect it. Hallelujah. All through scripture, we see that every time blood was shed, there was an invisible force that stopped men from doing whatever they wanted to do. Kings in ancient times would slaughter their children and allow the blood to spill on the earth and at once it will end the war. No matter how angry the enemies were. What is it about the blood? Not the blood of Jesus. Just blood. Hallelujah. Is it the color of the blood? Or is it that the blood is liquid? So if... I inject somebody now and a blue substance come out. Do we call that blood? Is it the color that makes it bloody? Because you see, the reason why the church has not been able to access the power of the blood is because we have been taught that the blood is powerful. But the truth is we have not been given a revelation of what makes it powerful. What makes the blood powerful? Is it because it was Jesus that shed it? How about the ones of bulls and goats? How about the, one of, the ones of children that native doctors shed and they enter a city and kill people and no man can stop it? How about that one? King of kings, Lord of lords, you are faithful and true, Lamb of God. I worship you. I took a little study to find out what is it from, from a medical and a historical perspective. What is it about blood that makes demons tremble? What is it about blood that makes demons hungry for blood? How many of you have heard that thing that demons and occultists and some people living in the village drink blood? There are many of us who come from places where every year they make sacrifices. And frankly speaking, they are not as concerned about the flesh. That blood, when the priest sees the blood in a calabash, he starts smiling. What does it do to him? What is the revelation? If you understand this, I'm telling you, you will walk out of certain chains this night. Just like that. It is not the color of blood that makes it powerful. It's not the color. Even if God suddenly made a pronouncement now that blood changed to blue, it will not suddenly make blood more powerful. Hallelujah. So what is it about blood that makes it powerful? Watch this. Goodness. When somebody, listen, 
when somebody is almost dying in the hospital the doctors just run and they take pints of blood is that true and they now begin to inject blood in the person all of a sudden strength returns what did the blood do couldn't they have put water and just say oh god drink one gallon of water let's see how far it goes what is it about the blood hallelujah shoot a gun at a man if blood does not come out a possibility exists that he may be able to survive but let blood begin to come out and suddenly you see the man start getting weak and then he collapses in spite of his skeletal structure in spite of the brain that is at work just one component leaving his body and the man dies what is the power of blood what is this mystery hallelujah that makes blood so powerful to an extent that when Cain killed Abel the Bible says although Abel was dead is that true the blood was speaking so question was it the blood that was Abel I kept searching because I needed to find out. You see, the way my mind operates, my mind operates like a machine. I don't just receive things that are haphazard. I need to be convinced that these things work. Hallelujah. My mind works like a machine. You don't just tell me, okay, this and that. Just believe it just like that. No, no. I want to understand the working component of that process. What makes it work? hallelujah when you meet a native doctor and you tell him something is wrong this and that the baba just laughs and said these are the requirements bring a goat right now you bring the goat and the man slaughters the goat and they ensure that the blood is drained in a calabash as soon as the blood is drained in a calabash things begin to happen all kinds of satanic things We keep singing songs there is power in the blood question if it was not jesus that died would there still be power in blood because before jesus died blood had been shed and we see that it carried some mighty degree of power for instance the bible tells us how that when um the sons of saul remember they were required that they had to be slain for peace to return in Israel. The Bible says Saul gave his seven sons and they slayed all the seven sons. And God himself didn't stop it. The enemy slayed seven sons. When their blood touched the earth, at once there was peace. Hallelujah. What is this factor in blood that makes it powerful? Leviticus, please. Truly, there is power in the blood of Jesus. Really, there's power in any blood, even your own. It's just that the blood of Jesus is all powerful. Leviticus 17 verse 11a just the a part levitical 17 let's just read the whole of the verse 11 17 11 are you there one to read Just stop there for a while. Read it again. The life of any flesh is resident where? In the brain? In the heart? Where? In the bones? He said the life of any flesh is found. There's no time for me to begin to give you. I, I just prayed that I would be able to do 
just do a little teaching so that we can have time to do what we are doing tonight i wish there was time to show you the things i found out about these scriptures that i'm sharing with you it will blow your mind and open you up to another dimension i hope that god grants us grace to do a teaching or a series in this place but he said the life of the flesh is where ah so it begins to give us an idea of what the big deal is about blood did he say the blood of jesus he said it's in where the life of any living creature is resident in his blood are you seeing what makes blood powerful so blood is not powerful because of the color blood is not powerful because it is liquid blood is powerful because the life of whatever that blood came from is resident in that blood so every time we talk about shedding of blood we are really talking about giving up life are you getting my point that was why in the old testament a curse was put on whoever eats blood because as far as god was concerned it was the same thing as eating a human being are you getting the revelation now the life of the flesh is in the blood in other words as i'm standing right now if you create a process and begin to drain the blood out of me without any replenishment i will stand right here and die right here is that true because the life of this flesh this body is in the blood hallelujah so the life of a goat is where the life of a human being is where the life of a chicken is where are you seeing that now so your blood represents your life are you getting me if you want to know your worth hold your blood in a calabash and this is all your worth throw it on the ground and you are gone you get the point so the entire thing about sacrifices and the mosaic law and everything it was about using life to cover are you getting my point now for something that someone had done in accordance with the law we just shared in we shared in hebrews chapter 9 are you getting me it says without the shedding of what there is no remission of in other words without the shedding of life correct for every time somebody sins the law is either that person or whoever can volunteer on his behalf must be able to shed his life the moment he sheds his life that sin has been lifted waiting for another sin to be committed you get my point if another one is committed another volunteer is required that's how the law works so every time you sin the law begins to catch up with you and satan listen to me satan did not create the law hello that law was part of god's justice system it was not created by god as satan began to explore i hope you know satan was in charge of justice not just worship alone so as satan began to search the archives of god's justice he found out that there was a provision there that any soul that sins it shall die are you getting my point and that for anyone to die or for that sin to be forgiven there had to be remission of sin so when adam came what did satan try to get man to do to sin because he understood the law satan wanted man to die and he said i remember that law let me make god himself work against his law and he led man to sin are you getting me now because he never knew that there was a possibility for god to become man so he knew that there would not be any ransom are you getting my point now and listen because the bible tells us that there are many kinds of bodies is that true there are terrestrial that means there are different levels and qualities of life are you getting me so the gravity of your offense determines the class of the life that will be shared that's why a herbalist can look and say no this condition is easy just bring a chicken based on our incantation 
a chicken is within the range of life that can atone for this when you look at one you say this is more than chicken go and bring goat there's one that he will even say no bring a man there is one that you say no not just a man a pure child whose blood has not been defiled are you getting me those are acute spiritual conditions that require certain or they say some virgins you see ancient kings in those days they would bring their daughters and they had to be virgins in other words not touched by any man and then they would they would make the sacrifice bury them alive and use the blood to do certain things and it worked it worked because it was a law listen let me share with you a revelation i hope that all of us can sustain the spiritual maturity to take this listen did you know that thank god we did not come from all of these heterogeneous religions in the world most of us were christians and maybe a few of us were from other religions who just came but when you study other world's religion all right you will find out that most of these religions actually thrive on spiritual laws that god created are you getting me when you study the content of their operation and the reason why although these are perverse religions they seem to have results it is because they are manipulating spiritual laws are you getting my point now but the reason why they got those laws was when the fallen angels came they began to teach men some things that they should not teach them you think the women just gave themselves to those angels when they came they started saying there is a secret i want to show you something all that god told you is not all that there is the holy ghost was supposed to be the one to teach us this but now this wicked spirit started teaching man to know so that he can use it to destroy another man are you getting my point now so they started teaching men how that you can make incantations and invoke the spirit of another it is not like it is the invocation please don't misunderstand me it is not that it is the invocation that was initiated by satan but the power and the knowledge that sponsors that spiritual operation is demonic are you getting my point now that's why a herbalist can pray for a man and the person will be healed are you getting my point what is wrong with that process is it the healing the healing is wrong because it was not initiated by the spirit although the man is healthy the glory does not go to god are you getting my point so in the kingdom the means also matters just as the end I, is somebody understanding what i'm saying otherwise we have no right to criticize somebody who uses voodoo or yoga to ease somebody else of stress are you getting my point people do it in films and the rest and they use these voodoo incantations and they get people who are not pregnant pregnant they do a lot of things so what is wrong with that everything is wrong with that because although it is a manipulation of spiritual laws but it was initiated and sponsored by darkness god designed the kingdom such that god must be the initiator the sustainer of every spiritual process so it's not an issue of whether the process was spiritual or not are you getting my point if it was not initiated by god and sustained by god it is of the devil even if it produces the results you expected it to produce what that means is if i kill a small child and use the blood to take to a herbalist and in one month i become a billionaire did i really become a billionaire yes did real money come to me yes so am i righteous for doing that no am i going to hell for doing that of course a correct process can i help charity with the money yes can you bring the money and sow it in church many people are doing it does it make it right no why because the spirit of god or the word of god the character of the kingdom did not initiate and sustain that process are you understanding what i'm teaching tonight let me give you a little example i'm already doing sign of the cross so that some of you will not stone me how many of you believe that man was made from the earth 
the bible says it right adam dust now what that means is the components of the earth were the raw materials that were used to create man is that true how many of us agree man was made from dust is that true I want to share with you a few spiritual secrets. Did you know that the hair of man was made from grass? When I teach you, I will share with you the principle of reflection. We call this in theology the principle of reflection. How that things just like the moon does not have life on its own. It reflects the glory of the sun. That means if you want to see what the moon is, there is something it was made in its similitude. So the Bible says man was created in the similitude of the earth in an attempt to communicate something. Are you getting my point? You look at the similitude of your hair and the grass that grows. You can barb it, you can mow it. The eyes of man was made from water. This is how the harbor is. That's why they can go to the river. Is that true? And do incantation and the river will suddenly become eyes. They will begin to see from it. It's in your Bible. How did they invoke the spirit of Samuel? That's why I started by repenting. Hmm. Should I share a few more? Listen, don't carry this tomorrow in your small fellowship and say, I have a word from the Lord. He opened my eyes yesterday and there's something I must share with you. How many of you know that your head, don't carry misguided revelations you cannot prove when they sit you down and begin to ask you to prove i make sure i can prove what i say before i say i'm just trying to hurry up praise god i hope that we'll get to do bible study the teeth and the bones of men were made from rocks the principle of reflection hallelujah that's why after your body is long decayed like the rocks your teeth and your skeletal system still remains. Hallelujah. The veins of man was made from the roots of plants. See the way the roots work. How, is it not them that supply nutrients? This is called the principle of reflection. Some of you are looking at me. The Bible gives you a clue. Is that true? It tells you that Adam was made from the components of the earth not just dust that means the material of his physical creation were components of the earth this is the principle that witches and wizards take advantage of so when they want to see something someone stole in your house and your parents who are idol worshippers say let's go to baba's place he just says bring me a calabash is that true and then they go to a riverside all of a sudden the man says it was on tuesday two o'clock this is what many prophets are using today. Are you seeing manipulation of spiritual laws that were not initiated and sustained by the spirit, but they are in their spiritual laws. Hallelujah. Listen. The reason why, hear me, the reason why man can survive in this system, are you getting my point? Was because part of the tools that were used to create his physical body were compliant to the system he's living in. Are you getting my point? That's why when you are sick, the plants can still heal you. Is that not true? Doctors use what? Is it not processed herbs? Native doctors use what? No, not just herbs. Herbs plus power from the underworld. Is that true? So whether through medicine or through whatever, the supernatural is at work there. Because the doctor gives you chloroquine, the remaining is a system that they cannot explain. You don't swallow drugs and look at the drugs and say, Panadol, go to my head. Make sure you don't dodge to the leg. Do you say that? You just do what? And the Panadol configured within itself knows that as busy as your body is, it should find its way to your head. That's the same way a microorganism that you call unicellular 
how many of you did complexity in biology and you were taught that um unicellular organisms have the least complexity is that true yet a a, a waterborne disease can enter your body a unicellular cell but it can know that is your heart it should go and attach itself to yet we call them unicellular and it enters your body it sees your eye it just jumps it says i'm not for the eye where is the heart it has never it was not there when the human heart was created yet it can find its way and know that this is the heart and stay there and know that there are white blood cells and other platelets and the rest coming in the body and it stops and begins to paralyze your immunity yet we call it unicellular so could it be that, that, that there is a lie somewhere in this story write what they taught you write what they taught you hallelujah what is it about blood that makes it powerful blood is a representation of the life of whatever organism produced that blood and it's also a representation of the quality of life not just the life but the quality the levels so the bible says the soul that seen it it shall die the soul that seen it it shall die if joshua selman seen it according to the law of god he must die are you getting my point if a do sins according to the law of god he must die if this little baby sins according to the law of god's justice he must die so satan said i'm aware of this law let's take that law to the garden of eden and when he used it and man fell satan was excited do you know he was excited because he knew that man was doomed to die i've said it again and again i hope you know that adam was not deceived there's no time i would have shown you from the bible a lot of people keep blaming ladies and say you people wicked people you spoiled our generation there's nothing like that listen it was for the love that man had for the woman listen do you know what it means to fall short of god's glory it doesn't mean to backslide is to reduce yourself to a spiritual strata where you cannot become in the class of god again are you getting my point that's what happened to eve when she ate adam was still standing but there was no relationship and he took the tree and joined her the bible clearly says adam was not deceived Ladies, I bring you deliverance in Jesus' name. Any man that falls should hold himself responsible. Love took you there. Love is still taking men to do all kinds of things today. Where did the saying, I will die for you, come? From Adam? From a lot of zealous lovers around who may not understand the implication of what they are saying. They didn't even run for you. Talk more of dying for you let's continue praise the Lord the soul that sins it shall die so let me hurry up with the story it was inevitable for the blood of bulls and goats to atone why was it why was it not possible for complete atonement you know what atonement is? Let me define it for you very quickly. Please write that word down. To make atonement is to satisfy someone or something for an offense committed. To satisfy someone or something for an offense committed by paying a price. So you atone uh, by, by satisfying somebody or something that was offended by paying the price. The legal terminology is bail. When you go and pay some amount so that someone who was declared guilty can come out of a prison cell. Hallelujah. 
So every time you talk about blood, the first function of blood is to atone for justice or judgment that is speaking somewhere. Are you getting my point? If it is true that life works on a legal ground, whenever you talk about blood, we talk about mercy, but uh -uh, you will not understand it just by talking about mercy. You have to know that justice necessitated the coming of that blood. The mercy there is to the one who could not help himself, who committed the offense. Are you understanding what I'm saying now? So when man fell, they tried the blood of bulls, but the quality and the longevity, listen, another spiritual law, another spiritual law that was given Moses was that when the lamb was to be slain, all right, the age of the lamb mattered. Are you getting me? The atonement a day in the Hebrew called Yom Kippur, it was once in a year. Are you getting my point now? It was called the day of atonement. Once in a year, when the priest would come in with the blood of a lamb in the most holy place to atone for the sins of the Israelites. And it so happened, listen, that the atonement, the validity of the atonement was what? One year. Are you getting my point? And if that were to continue, then every year, the priest would keep atoning. So now Jesus shows up. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. When Jesus showed up after 30 years, he began to carry out his ministry. Did very mighty things. Now, I need you to know that the kind of birth that happened to Jesus was one of the reasons that qualified him to be able to use his blood. Are you getting me? How well, I hope that you know, if you don't know, know it now, that the blood in the child comes from the man. Is that true? Medically proven. The woman is just the one that holds the child. But the blood of the child comes from the man, not the woman. Hence, it was a possibility for Mary to take Jesus without the nature of man corrupting him. The very cell that fertilized Mary's egg was the life so way the life of god that's why the holy ghost himself played the fatherly role of jesus are you getting me joseph wanted to marry jesus god said oh god you wait oh you are going to wait just be patient for one year because something needs to happen here without your involvement you are a man you are a victim you are part of those that need to be saved there is a voice of judgment speaking the bible says by one man sin came and then through reproduction other people came into that covenant are you getting my point now so every baby that was born even if the baby had never committed any act of sin that voice of judgment began to speak from birth because all have sinned and fallen short as a result of that sin of the glory of god how many All have sinned and fallen short of that glory. Jews, Gentiles. Don't let anybody make you look like your state is the worst. When they say this is your state now, I will say all have sinned. How many? Is that not a powerful revelation? All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Now Jesus came. Please watch this. Mary just agreed with the Holy Spirit. And he was born. The Bible says the power of the highest shall what? Overshadow you. All of a sudden, her stomach started protruding. Like a woman who was pregnant. Now watch this. Mary had not been defiled by a man. And then the cell of a man was not in her womb. So Jesus grew and came out are you getting my point watch this principalities and powers they knew listen they knew what happened that's why if you are born again like jesus you must be born of the spirit are you getting my point jesus was born of the spirit is that true 
if you are to be really born again then you must be born of the spirit so jesus came and he, he disguised himself because the holy ghost had not come to identify him so when through all of the constellations and the operations of certain spiritual laws the herod and his wise men and all the people they knew that another king had been done had been born the spirit of the antichrist began to move them to look for jesus and kill him are you getting my point so they killed all the children and herod believed that jesus was one of all those children that were killed so he piped down until he died and then the angel told joseph he said you can go now they that seek the life of the child have, have, have died jesus walked for 30 years he kept doing a lot of things nobody knew but listen satan had been studying what was happening in history are you getting me so when john because a prophecy was left in the garden of eden he says satan you think you have done your worst but the seed of the woman shall bruise your head so satan got scared because he knew that god does not just talk nonsense before god speaks he has made the so he started seeing and satan knew that nothing happens on earth until he's prophesied so he started chasing every prophet and everybody to hear what they will say and then isaiah said who had believed our report he started confusing satan what is all this that's why the prophets use coded languages they said he shall see the travail of his soul and he shall be satisfied he was bruised for iniquities and hell was saying who is this is this isaiah so it kept on like that when john was born satan was almost sure because he was the last prophet before jesus that's why the spirit of the antichrist moved the pharisees to ask john are you that one that should come so that they can kill him fast and then john they said are you elias john said nay are you this he said nay and the thing frustrated satan he said who are you he said i'm the voice of one crying he said what kind of god it was a coded language <laughs> hallelujah and then a time came when jesus would no longer hide it he came while john was being trained in the wilderness are you getting me god gave him a signal he said whoever you see the dove come upon no as a sign i've said it again john was not a baptist his baptizing was to help him identify jesus that was why after the baptism of jesus he stopped baptizing john was a prophet john was a prophet he started baptizing and then when he saw jesus he looked he looked with his prophetic eyes he said behold the lamb i found you the scribes were just standing dumbfounded and then he said no i am not worthy because the information that was given to me in the secret place about you i cannot be the one to baptize you jesus said we are still working something suffer it to be so because i'm coming on a legal ground so everything must be done somebody must lay hands on me suffer it to be so that the scripture not that i will be lord that the scripture should be fulfilled so that when jesus dies there will be no law that satan can take to god and say based on this it was not followed so jesus had to follow the process are you getting my point now and then finally the holy ghost descended upon him and god said all right it's no secret again this is that beloved son the moment he announced it satan told all the demons what are you waiting for oh yeah that was why they started looking for jesus to kill him immediately immediately they started looking for jesus to kill him hallelujah and then he told them he said let me give you another mystery my time has not come in other words don't you think i'm afraid of death i came to do a lot of things death is part of it because my life must go and if my life listen the life of god came into blood so that it can be shed are you getting my point since the life of every flesh is in the blood god's own life concealed itself in the blood of jesus i pray that you will understand what i'm sharing 
I'm getting to the crux of this message. Please bring the communion and something mighty will happen in this place. Like, Hallelujah. So Jesus was walking with the blood of God. Are you getting my point? The life of a flesh is in the blood. So this was the life of God. It was going to be transferred into man. But Satan did not know. That was why every time they looked, the demon said, Ah, is this not the son of God? And Jesus said, Keep quiet. This is a hidden thing. When it was time for him to give up himself, something happened. Hallelujah. Something very, very remarkable happened. Please follow me. Jesus now said, This is the hour of darkness. And he sat with the disciples at table. Watch this. A powerful covenant was going to take place. Jesus said, guys, it's time for you to eat bread and take wine. And the disciples said, we've been hungry. We can't wait. Jesus said, hold on. Something is happening here you do not know. In John, when you read from verse 6 down to 8, Jesus began to speak. And he shared another spiritual mystery. That it is possible to come into a man. By eating his flesh and his blood. Hold on. What is the mystery of marriage? What is the mystery of marriage? Two people. Come, my dear. When you understand this, you will know how it is possible for us to come into Christ. Hallelujah. Watch this. This is a lady on her own. I'm someone on my own. We come together. And by a divine pronouncement, is that true? A divine pronouncement, they say we are husband and wife. We have become one flesh. All right? Then when a man sleeps with his wife, they now give birth to one entity that is a combination of both of them. It's the culmination of their oneness. So the child that is born is the ultimate demonstration that the man and the woman are truly one. Is that true? Help me, is it true? so jesus listen jesus who serves as the second adam now sits with his eve the bride and that was a wedding matrimony that was going to go on there but they did not understand listen to me the church is called the bride of christ jesus is called the second adam just like the first adam was betrothed to what his wife so jesus is about to be betrothed to his bride are you getting the revelation but the people did not understand and it was 12 only 12 of them because 12 is the prophetic number for government and the government represent the people are you understanding this now so jesus sits at table and he takes up the cup Praise the Lord. Watch this. He already told them in John. He said, if there is a possibility for you to eat my flesh, drink my blood, you can have my life. And what was his life? The life of God. Look at the spiritual laws that were being obeyed to transfer the life of God into the life of man. Are you getting the point? It had to be done on legal, on legal grounds. And he said, this, just like a priest announces, I now declare you husband and wife. Jesus standing as the high priest said, this is my cup of the new covenant that I am now entering with you. Drink this as often as you can. Are you getting me now? And he broke the bread. He said, take my body, my body that is given for you. And when they took it and they ate it, Jesus laughed because they had now satisfied the spiritual law that can permit the world to come into the man. So, I, I'm, please permit me to use a word that may sound vulgar. It's like a man sleeping with his wife to give birth to a baby. That's what we call the passion of the Christ. Are you getting my point? The church in Christ going to the cross to birth a new seed
How do I communicate this? Oh Lord, help me. All the while, Satan did not know this. And Satan kept moving the people. Kill Jesus. Notice, Jesus refused to die. Because if he just died like that, it would be a waste. Man was not involved. Just like a, a woman cannot sleep with herself or a man sleep with himself. They need two of them to produce that child. Are you getting my point? So the communion was necessary for crucifixion to make sense and the shedding of blood to make sense. Are you getting what I'm saying? The only way I see one or two small children here. If not, I would have used the mystery of marriage to explain to you what really happened. But let's, God will grant us grace. You are understanding in Jesus' name. That's why marriage is a serious thing to God. Because it was the principle that was used to redeem man. Are you getting my point? So Jesus, immediately after the communion, now he had the legal right to become sin. Are you getting my point? Then he went to Gethsemane. When he went to Gethsemane, look at immediately after the communion, he went to Gethsemane and he started crying. Why was he crying? I will tell you why he was crying. He was crying because now, on legal basis, he needed to become the second Adam. How did the first Adam become a fallen man? The Holy Spirit left him. So at the Garden of Eden, I mean at Gethsemane, just like the Garden of Eden, are you seeing now? They were all gardens. The Holy Ghost had to leave Jesus. That was why Jesus was crying. He said, is there a possibility? The psalmist knew this and he was speaking. He said, take not your Holy Spirit from me. It was a prophetic statement. He said, cast me not away from your presence. He was not singing a song. He said, take not your Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit was taken from Jesus. At that point, he fully became man seen able to take the nature of man and from there they caught him and he looked helpless he could not do anything the prophecy of isaiah 53 begins it says who has believed our report in other words if we explain this to men will they believe that god disguised himself became a man he said who had believed our report that whoever believes that report the arm of the lord will be shown to him that salvation he said, who has believed that report? Hallelujah. So Jesus went to the cross. Now, all the things that happened to Jesus was very important. A crown of thorn was put on his head because man lost dominion. And the symbol of dominion is the crown of the king. So everything that happened from there was the exchange. Everybody say the exchange. So everything we were not christ became so that we will become what he is you get the revelation so they put the crown of thorns on his head they didn't even know what they were doing and he kept quiet when they started flogging him when they started flogging him it was very very although he was in pains but it was the fulfillment of isaiah's prophecy watch this when they were flogging him what started coming out Everybody, what started coming out? And I told you that every time blood is shed, the issue of death begins to be negotiated. Because without the shedding of blood, there is no what? Remission of sins. That means there is no pardoning from death. The moment the blood of Jesus started touching the earth from which man was created, it was a mystery. And they were flogging Jesus Christ, tearing his flesh, the Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul. Because man did not offend Satan. Man offended God. Are you getting me? So according to the justice of God, either man or somebody else must be punished to the degree of that offense for God to be appeased. If I steal your laptop and they catch me and they say I'm going to spend 10 days in the prison, that punishment comforts you. It's a reward for that stealing. So the Bible says God will see the travail of whoever that scapegoat is. And a time will come when it will satisfy his heart for the offense of man. Then justice would have had its cause. 
Are you getting me? So Satan made them to be beating Jesus Christ. And they did not know. They led him to the cross. It was a tree that made man fall. It would be a tree that would redeem man. And so they went to the cross. And when they hung there, watch this. Jesus looked at them. And when he looked at them, watch a mystery that happened at the cross. Do you know, I told you that the passion of the Christ can be likened to intercourse between a man and a woman to produce a child. I'll prove it to you. Do you notice that at the cross, like the climax of that intercourse, who was there? The mother of Jesus. Where was the father? Because we were going to be born of the spirit. The mother of Jesus was there. Are you getting my point? And then John was standing there. Is that true? And he was called John the beloved. Jesus said, you people are mourning. You don't know what you represent here. He said, mother, behold what? Your son. And son, behold the woman that gave birth to you. It was a coded language. Because women are gates in the spirit. The only gates through which another life can pass. Hallelujah. And when Jesus hung on that cross. While his blood was dripping. In the realm of the spirit. The blood was not just falling everywhere. The blood was falling in a specific container. It was the life. Zoe was just giving way please listen very very important and jesus hung not as the christ but jesus who had become seen jesus the career of joshua selman sin jesus the career of maman sin jesus the car are you getting my point now on that cross that was what paul saw he said, I have been crucified with Christ. What did Paul see? Hallelujah. And now Jesus looked up. And he said, it is finished. What was he seeing? At what point did he know that it was finished? And then he died. I've taught it again and again. When sinners die, where do they go to? So Jesus died sin. Not just a sinner. So where would he go to? He couldn't have gone to heaven because the spirit of adoption that seals men was not on him and he went there was joy in hell all kinds of joy unspeakable all of a sudden jesus shows up in hell hallelujah and i hope you know well we'll talk about that the compartment of hell called hades the place of the dead I know there have been a lot of debates about that. I won't go into that. But the saints of old were there. In First Peter, the Bible tells us that Jesus went there, preached the gospel to them. Is that true? <laughs> when Jesus went, Satan looked and that was when he knew that this was Adam coming to collect back the keys. The second Adam. The first Adam was there. He was part of all the people together with Father Abraham and the rest. The place of the dead and jesus the bible says all the cohorts of hell were on him they were trying to stop him when god saw the travail of his soul and justice was made listen very powerful the bible says jesus shook them making a public show of them all this drama happened in hell oh. and immediately that happened he went to satan satan himself and said give me the keys adam gave you in the garden of eden Give it to me you see that and yeah that's what happened revelation chapter one i am he that was dead but now it's alive and i hold the keys where did he get it he got it in hell give that keys of dominion that gave you access over the earth because until jesus died and collected it satan was the god of this system legally what adam should have been that's why satan took jesus and said come he took him to a mountain and showed him the riches. Jesus never argued with Satan because he was not lying. Satan oh, dragged Jesus to a mountain. He said, come. 
all these glories i will give it to you satan said because it has been given to me he was mocking jesus adam gave it to me and jesus said no problem it's a matter of time i will strip you of it when he collected it watch this he went to the prison isaiah 61 to open the prison gates to those who are bound you see what the prophet was saying he opened that prison and abraham and the rest they joined him and when he resurrected the bible says graves were open whose graves is it not in your bible graves were open and the saints of old came out they walked in the streets they knew them they knew them let me prove to you they knew them at the transfiguration of jesus when elijah and moses appeared what did peter say he said wow thank god we are here let us make three tents one for you one for moses one for elijah who told him hallelujah jesus resurrected came back into this realm and he was about to finish the sacrifice as the high priest so when mary wanted to touch him she said rabboni said no don't touch me i paid so much price to make sure that i get this blood and right now i'm going to the heavenly tabernacle the book of hebrews so jesus enters he was both the lamb and the high priest and i told you there is a law that the age of the lamb determine the validity of the atonement so the blood of god which is the life of god who is the ancient of days the ageless one that blood was drained and when jesus went to heaven he poured it upon the heavenly tabernacle the moment that happened he came down he said guys touch me touch any part you want to touch it no longer can defile me the transaction has been done This was the revelation Paul saw and said, wow, had they known this, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So Satan was part of those who acted the movie to make sure man was saved. That's why every time you mention the blood, it reminds him of his foolishness. Every time you mention the blood, it reminds him that the price had been paid and that he was part of those who ensured that the price was paid. hallelujah watch this i'm about to round up when they touched him jesus said all hail he said all authority in the heavens and in the earth has been given unto me and he began to teach them a lot of things these were the mysteries that he was teaching them for 40 days in acts chapter 1 before he finally did the bible says he was with them a period of 40 days teaching them on the matters of the kingdom he was sharing this thing with them and paul now telling the hebrew church he said let us therefore the blood somebody has paid the price with his life every time you say blood of jesus with revelation what you are saying is whatever will stop me from entering this let the life of god give me access to step in are you seeing that now so if the traditional rulers in your village and so on and so forth they have been sacrificing before you were born and they believe they can lay claims and you come in through the blood suddenly the price of the blood opens the gate and he say walk out you are free you can shout blood of jesus and remain in captivity because there is no knowledge and because there is no revelation or you have not known how to activate that which christ has done so i come from a place with witchcraft for instance i come from a place with killing and all of a sudden i realize that this blood was shed for me and i stand and in the name of the lord jesus christ i begin to speak the moment i say blood of jesus because demons are not like men they don't have short memory it's as clear as yesterday before them what jesus did and so when i begin to plead the blood what i mean is i begin to call the price that was paid for my freedom just like somebody wants to harass you and you say is this not my receipt did i not pay school fees was it not complete 
What then is the accusation? And the Bible says, every time we take of the bread, which is a type of his body, listen, and we take of the cup, which is a type of his blood, we are not just satisfying hunger, but we are re-enacting a revelation. The same way people offer sacrifices again to remind the gods that we are still loyal. Over this land, it still belongs to you. Even after 100 years, gods, you are still the ones in charge. Every time we take this, we are not only speaking to God, but we are speaking to the gates of hell. And we are saying we are still one with Christ. And this is the proof. We are eating of his body. We are drinking of his blood. That means we have access to his life because the life of that flesh is in the blood. And when we take it, that life becomes part of our inheritance. And then it can open the doors of sickness. It can open every kind of legal door. The blood. The life of God. Watch this. Although this is ordinary zobo or drink or whatever. And this is ordinary wafers. But by faith. The same way the Holy Ghost made the word become flesh. The Holy Ghost can make the flesh become the word. Hallelujah. So the Holy Ghost takes this flesh and changes it into a literal spiritual substance. That the moment you take this, it's not just going to your stomach. Because the Bible says the body which is the word is able to go beyond your bones and marrows and to the joints and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart it can purify a man's conscience so when blood is crying against you and saying are you supposed to succeed in life are you not supposed to be a victim and the devil says were you not part of those drinking and smoking you say yes and the moment he wants to execute that judgment, the blood comes in between you. And Jesus says, how about this? How about the price? How about the price that was paid? And so Satan wants to work another formula. And that formula is ignorance. So although the price has been, has been paid, he comes to many believers and convinces them that the price has not been paid or... The principle to activate that reality in their lives. There are people right now who will look at this communion and just think it's a ritual. That's why the Bible says, be careful when you take the communion. If your heart is not truly committed to God and you take the communion, the Bible says, for this purpose, some are weak and some even do sleep. That means taking the communion in a way that mocks God can kill a man. The same way it can give life. Tonight, the life of God is in that blood of Jesus that was shed. And as we take this prophetically and symbolically, I want you to know that mighty things will happen in this place. That's why I gave you revelations. Many of you, as you take this communion, imagine yourself standing at the gates of your families. And looking at the assaults of the devil and as you lift up this communion you say lord behold this is the evidence that i should walk out of this age long thing this is the evidence this is my evidence this is my school fees when satan says after all you committed an abortion you say satan is not a lie but this is the evidence the speaking blood that speaks mercy that judges every other voice when the devil looks and says, you will remain barren. Did they not covenant your family? You lift it and say, this is my evidence. The body and the bread. This is a sign that Jesus died. And Jesus looks from his throne and says, Satan, you had him. Give way. And he gives you way to walk out of that prison. Many people will be healed tonight. I mean it from the depths of my heart. Many restorations will happen tonight. 
some of you may not even be able to hold this bottle i tell you because i'm about to pray that the power of the highest that overshadowed mary that it will come upon this communion everybody rise up just blast in tongues for five minutes Ratatakapa, the speaking blood, the speaking blood, the speaking blood, the atoning blood, the speaking blood, the atoning blood, the speaking blood. It says Joshua Selman not guilty joshua selman not guilty yes you sin but the blood speaks the blood speaks let him go free let her go free i paid it with my life hear me hear me revelations 11 and 12 begins to tell us that satan is called the accuser of the brethren when they caught the woman who was in adultery the bible says they caught her in the very act that means they didn't even allow her to take her bath with all the evidences they dragged her to jesus and jesus said he who does not have sin cast the first stone and when they left he said woman where are your accusers that's what satanic altars do they lift up accusations legal accusations that will keep you in sickness legal accusations that you will not get that job legal accusations that the marriage will not come but tonight as you leave the communion the speaking blood the blood of the Lord Jesus that speaks that speaks that advocates hallelujah everybody shout the blood that speaks the blood that sets free the blood that redeems The blood that satisfies justice. Now listen. Listen. Before I begin to administer the communion. We are going to do it very fast. I tell you I sense the anointing of God strong on me. Because after this I am going to lay hands on people. Hallelujah. Listen. There are two prayer points we are going to pray. The first one, Isaiah 53 verse 1. It says, who has believed our report? So this is for those who believe the report. There are people who have not believed the report. So the communion will not make any sense to you. But tonight, who has believed this report? Who has believed that the blood speaks? I don't care what religion you belong to. I don't care what you have done or not done. Tonight, first prayer point. Lord, I believe your report. Lift your voice and pray. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Shepata, I believe you died for me. 
you shed your blood which represents your life as the highest price greater love had no man than this than a man laid down his life than a man laid down his life by shedding his blood lay down his life hallelujah hallelujah i wrote a book years ago it never got to be published the title of the book is not guilty it was a revelation i hope that when god permits us to start writing books and publishing it i believe that that's one of the books that will set people free not guilty everybody say not guilty i want you to look at all the things you have done right and say because of the blood i am not guilty look at all the things that you have done wrong and say because of the blood i am not guilty yes i stole money but because i believe this report i am not guilty yes i served idols it's true that i went to the shrine but because of the speaking blood i am not guilty atonement remission liberty hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point in one minute i like you to pray radically mention all the things you need the blood to speak over tonight lift your voice and begin to pray please take it seriously lord let the blood speak there is a chain over my life let the blood speak tonight this terminal disease this barrenness this mental backwardness the speaking blood we invoke the power of the speaking blood hey. over my marital life access to wealth and prosperity over my spiritual life I invoke the power of the speaking blood of the speaking blood hallelujah hallelujah let's have all the heads of departments please quickly quickly let's save time mighty things will happen in this place listen listen we're going to start from outside i know that i know that many of us have taken communion in our churches some we do it every week and you just think it's a formula to satisfy hunger tonight you will know that there is a power you watch what happens in this place as we begin to take the communion because i'm about to pray without the holy spirit this is zobo and wafers but the power of the highest shall overshadow it hallelujah i'll serve the heads of departments you take it quickly i tell you see some of you as you take this communion things will begin to happen not just miracles you will know that something is happening to you listen the bible says i will show signs in the heavens and signs in the earth he said blood fire and smoke father in the name of the lord jesus christ let the power of the highest
overshadow this you left two sacraments with the church the first is the doctrine of baptisms buried with Christ and risen with him the second is the communion the mystery of our union partakers of his suffering that have qualified in the sufferings of Christ and now to walk in the glory that follows Holy Spirit rest upon this in the name of Jesus let this communion be empowered it ceases to just be mortal liquid let this contain the power of God I give this communion a voice in the spirit that the moment it is taken let it begin to speak over altars let it speak over the works of darkness let the fire of the Holy Ghost come upon this communion in the name of Jesus Christ worship team are you ready you minister to us powerfully everyone just begin to pray in tongues they will direct you I will serve the heads of department quickly and then they will coordinate it you will start coming from outside non-stop until we are done please be praying in tongues the moment you take it hallelujah listen it's going to be in this order you pick the bread just one piece you take the cup and then you put the cup here and just go back i'm sure that we're going to need some more cups so please make sure we coordinate ourselves well hallelujah thank you jesus in that same night when he took of the bread he said this is my body Just take a piece. Lord, we do this with reverence. Go ahead, take it, take it. And then pick the cup, just pick one. All right, very quickly outside, start rushing to come. The power of God is so strong here. Just be praying as you're coming. Quickly, quickly, please. Just pick one, take the drink, and move. Welfare, please walk with us. Let's let's have replenishing very quickly. The speaking blood. 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 As you go back to your seat, begin to pray and prophesy. Please keep coming outside. Hurry up, hurry up. Thank you, Jesus. Yokes are breaking. The blood is speaking. The blood is speaking. The blood is speaking. Please, those taking it, save time. Save time, do it very fast. There is power 
Sick bodies are getting healed. The Lord is healing people. The blood is speaking healing. Say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Save time, those outside. Power of the blood. 
the speaking blood the life of God you are taking in the very life of God the mystery of communion Every chain, break 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 every 
Break. Break. Come on, prophesy. Begin. Break. 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 Lord, I hear the Break. 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 Let me hear the Break. me very quickly to the book of Isaiah. What did I do wrong, oh God, that until now I am not married? What did I do wrong that in our family there's no marriage? What did I do wrong that everybody is poor and broke in our family? We get money and nothing happens. As far as we are concerned, we are Christians. Even if there is a cause or something, I've, I've gone for deliverance. So what is wrong? I bring a word for someone tonight. God is about to birth a dimension of glory in your life. That you, listen, when God is done with you, you will appreciate it you will begin to thank god and say lord it was good when i passed through this valley of the shadow of death i did not know that it was you making a boast of me in the realm of the spirit and though others have compromised and married he says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearance let me prophesy to you that though weeping endures for a night my bible tells me that joy comes with the morning he says he that weepeth bearing precious seeds shall doubtless return rejoicing there are many people today who are going through certain things because they are christians not because they are unbelievers we have been trained to criticize and persecute people because we have been taught by myopic preachers whose god is their belly and based on the things they see reading just at first sight they just believe When Jesus hung on the cross, the people who had heard his message stood by that cross and they said, what is all this? This man healed the sick. This man did this. I, I mean, we saw him walk away from the crowd. We saw him do a lot of things. Could he be so weak that he's helpless on that cross that men can mock him? Why didn't he demonstrate that he is the king of kings and lord of lords? But for the glory. Jesus was prophetically speaking about himself in that third instance. But I have come under the anointing to announce to somebody. That when the anointing of the spirit shows up. Part of the things that it does to you. Is, it says to appoint unto them in Zion. You know what that means? To set a date for your freedom. It says to appoint. To appoint. Isaiah 61. It says the spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. To bind up the broken hearted. To set the captives free. It says to appoint unto those who mourn. You know what it means to appoint? If I appoint you. And I say you are a gatekeeper. What happens? You assume duty. So to appoint means prophetically. To look at the people and through the access of the prophetic. To say we call your time of deliverance today. It says to appoint unto them that more. You will be changed. 
His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul. That's what will happen to somebody tonight. When the Spirit takes over your soul. When the Spirit takes over your soul. You will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the Spirit takes over your soul tonight God will take away that garment of shame he will take it away he will remove it and give you a new garment that when you step out everyone will know that you met the Lord I want you to believe I'm not just motivating you his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul i'm prophesying to you you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul you will be changed your glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over and for medical reports that need to be changed tonight it will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over i don't care what the doctors have said i bring you a higher word you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul. That garment of reproach over your life, it will be changed. His glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul. And his mother called him Jabez. She said, because I bore him in sorrow. Jabez did not name himself. He was a victim of his mother's prophecy. His mother's pain made her to call him Jabez. Jabez. A name that brought sorrow. And Jabez grew up. Everywhere he went, he saw sorrow. What did this man do? Who sinned? Was it him or his parents? Jabez's mother cursed him. He said you cause me sorrow as a result you will live in sorrow but the day came Jabez said no come on God there must be a way of negotiating this he said oh that thou wouldest bless me remedy this cause over my life oh that thou wouldest bless me I can't live like this Lord you are a just God you must give me an option to demonstrate whether I want to practice witchcraft or not I cannot be suffering because my father was a king I can't be suffering because we worship idols I was not there come on now the children shall not suffer the iniquity of their parents I was not there when they went to the river to make sure my mother gets a child Lord we must negotiate this night there is a way I'm going to hold on to you there must be a justice system that will get me out of this mess tonight you will be changed his glory will be revealed when the spirit takes over your soul listen hear me friends if you can hold on to the hand of God tonight you will leave this place with something but if you come here casually he will keep clapping for people who came here desperately there are people who have been fasting for this meeting for days and they said lord i'm holding on to you jabez mother called him jabez and jabez said oh god thou would you not bless me enlarge my coast and the bible said god answered him hallelujah the thief on the cross after realizing that what was happening to him 
was a due recompense for his wickedness he said remember me in your kingdom oh lord i do not come trying to justify myself lord i know i slept around that's why i have the terminal disease right now i'm not trying to claim right but i understand that there is a principle in the spirit that grants us access to come before the throne of grace lord i know i used to drink and smoke that's why i have liver condition i know that what is happening to me was not any wickedness of ancestry it's as a result of my carelessness i know i've not been tithing i know i've not been i've not been giving i've been sleeping with other people's husbands or carrying other people's wives and children around and i know that i gave satan legal access but tonight oh god i'm negotiating with you i come what do you think going to the throne of grace is it's not just to go and stand there you go and talk and say lord it is written it is written although it is true that the soul that sins die it is written also that is not your desire that any wicked perish it is written you take the word of god the legal system of heaven it said produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons convince me what is the legal basis for your freedom from this witchcraft convince me i saw a pattern that happened from my maternal side in my family it looked like every firstborn male there were certain things that happened to them when i saw it i said no way somebody shout no way this night come on now you need to get angry and say no way i have seen it coming so you will stop it say nobody passes 25 years my own father my blood father his elder brother is late younger brother is late i found out that when they got to a certain age range no matter how high they were they must drop down and die my father has served god all his life but it did not change and then my father was sick almost at the point of death thank god for revelation Hiya. arise shine my light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me we will arise arise shine our light is come The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Hallelujah. And I got angry. I said, Lord, if there is nobody to speak in my family, I can't speak. What is happening? My younger sister collapsed while she was writing examination. My elder sister for years would not get admission. Things were just upside down in my family someone needs to prophesy tonight say order hold on you know how they shout order in court when there's confusion somebody must speak and say order come on now i prophesy let there be order listen if there is nobody to speak in your family the altars that speak will keep speaking until somebody comes with an apostolic spirit and says i provoke another voice i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i come with the rod of a higher priesthood hallelujah please sit down for a moment we well, soon when you stand up i sense the anointing of the spirit strong let me teach you something about priesthood please look up the bible began to tell us in the book of hebrews hallelujah when it comes to walking in the justice system of god you don't do it as a king you go back as a priest are you getting the revelation that was why when the bible was about to explain to us the legal system of the blood and redemption kings were not mentioned again he started mentioning priests you now see why it is the priest in the village not the king that does all the connection with the gods so the bible says that there are different kinds of priesthood and every priest in ancient time had a rod are you getting my point 
that rod was not a symbol of authority it was a token that connected them with the gods are you getting what i'm saying so there were different kinds of levitical priesthoods and the rest who offered sacrifices and they tried to know the mind of god but the bible tells us that this very priest this high priest they said he came after the order of a strange man called melchizedek you know who melchizedek was melchizedek was a was the king of salem the ancient city jerusalem the bible says having neither father or mother question neither father or mother that means could not be affected by any ancestry are you getting my point melchizedek a man who came that was the similitude of the christ that was why it was melchizedek standing in that priesthood that blessed abraham he said abraham you don't know who is blessing you but you come blessed be abraham possessor of he says son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth what gave how can a man bless a fellow man like that the bible says based on the principle of adumbration that means the four acting of something that will actually act melchizedek was a prophetic manifestation of the christ just like elijah are you getting my point now elijah came manifesting as the spirit of the prophetic moses came as the law so melchizedek showed up and he said abraham you come from a land of witchcraft called awe of the chaldeans they were wizards in that place are you getting my point abraham was not born a christian abraham was born an idol worshiper and when he met this priest called Mel melchizedek he said let me do something to you abraham come i'm about to change certain things look at me you are not going to get anything from my ancestry without father or mother yet i'm a king and still i am a priest he said melchizedek from today possess the heavens i mean abraham possess the heavens and the earth we talk so much about abraham but the man that spoke and changed his situation melchizedek right now we have come as those sons and daughters of abraham are you getting my point and the bible tells us that the priest that will speak to us that priest comes in the order of melchizedek so when the habalists lift up their rod like the egyptians suddenly a priest steps in with the rod of a higher priesthood and he says all right you can say what you want to say but we change it because there is respect in the spirit the military system is an organized system because it was borrowed from the way angels walk in the spirit never at any point with a man with an inferior rank talk or walk against the man it's not about size it's not about age it's about ranking so when this priest comes after the order of melchizedek he lifts up that rod and he opens up the door for you he says walk out of all this and that high priest christ himself who became both the lamb and became the high priest is here for you tonight listen listen it doesn't matter which of these three categories there are many people who will be saying lord i know i just came here to find out whether there can be mercy for me i want you to know there is abundance of it that voice that speaks against you there is another blood that speaks and for many of us who are coming it's not your fault but you were born from that state tonight a rod of a higher priesthood will be lifted for you i have waited for this moment to come Go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me. I won't go back. I won't 
go back, can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and came. So tonight, I want you to believe. Jesus told us something. He said, as my father has sent me. With the same assignment and the same equipping. Let's look at that scripture. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, just pray in tongues for one minute. Something just entered my spirit. As my father has sent me with the same equipping, with the same equipping. John 20. John 20. John 20. Ah! Goodness. John 20. Are you there? Then said Jesus to them, Listen, peace be to you, as my Father has sent me. He said, Even so, send I you. So he showed us the very next verse how the Father sent him. That means he equipped me. The Father did something to me. And I'm about to do the same thing to you. And it will make you do the works that he did. Watch this. 22. And when he had said this, he breathed on them. He said, this is the secret. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. I transfer the ministry of the Holy Spirit from me to you. Let him walk with you. And you will do wonders. You will suddenly become a priest. You will suddenly become a king. The same way I set men free. He will empower you. And you will set men free. The same way I spoke. And it came to pass. Now the same way the Holy Ghost walked with me. This was my secret. Receive ye. Receive. That means you can reject him. He said receive. Don't reject him. Receive. When he comes to you. Receive. His presence makes you become like Jesus. It's not about praying in tongues. It's more than praying in tongues. You receive him. You can reject him. Jesus said when he comes, receive, receive. Don't reject. Many people have been rejecting him. You are praying in tongues, but you've been rejecting him. Tonight, receive him. Receive him. Receive his ministry. Jesus said when he comes, receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. Receive the Holy Ghost. The same way you receive a visitor. Question, how do you receive a visitor in your house? When a visitor comes, you put a chair. You say you are welcome. Let me bring food for you. What do you want? That's how to receive. You don't stand at the door and say, Mr. Man, what did you come to look for? That's how many of us are receiving the Holy Ghost. You are praying in tongues, but you truly have not received his ministry. Tonight, will you receive that ministry? Will you receive the same way you receive a visitor? The Bible says, be careful. Entertain men well. For in need, some of you have entertained strangers. That's why you see us honor his presence so much. Because Jesus left him. Without the Holy Spirit, while I was praying, I said, Holy Spirit, we're in partnership with you. I will do the talking. I will do all the things. My own part of the deal. I will do it well. And I know for sure. That's what gives us confidence. To announce that people will be healed. That's what gives us confidence. There is an audacity. There is always a side to your life you cannot explain. That's the side where the Holy Ghost steps in. If you can explain everything about your life, you are walking alone. There should be a supernatural dimension. I've explained to you the part of the meeting that can be explained. The other part now. The Holy Ghost does not just talk. He explains it with the results. Oh, that's why I love him. Doesn't have room for long stories. Tonight, God is giving someone another opportunity to raise a cry of dissatisfaction and say, Lord, I'm tired. 
the worship team sang it beautifully they said i'm tired of the status quo tonight there are many of us here who may be wondering but what is wrong with my life i've not done anything wrong what you need is an appointment by prophecy the bible says to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes the oil of gladness for the spirit of heaviness it says that they may be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified we're going to pray the lord has showed me of his presence in a mighty way to heal especially for the sick you must get angry this night and say lord i'm not going back with that situation see don't get too used to it the same way you receive the holy spirit reject certain things hallelujah let me show you one scripture back to our text john 9 let me tell you what can happen to you when you don't open up your heart to receive john chapter 9 while i was reading today i had to stop and say goodness so this thing did not start now two things can happen to you if you do not position yourself to receive number one nine verse 16 listen to what happened we have been accusing very innocent people around our society because we are not open to receive john 9 verse 16 are you ready read therefore said some of the pharisees okay this man is this is jesus they are talking about are you getting my point now they saw somebody receiving a fantastic miracle they saw this man getting blessed and now they were frustrated because this thing was not just working what kind of power is it there are probably some of you here who have heard of the things that god is doing and probably you just came to watch and see let me verify for myself look at it it didn't just start today satan always wants to discredit people who are doing the things that god has asked them to do he said this man is not of god because he keepeth not the sabbath day what kind of silly excuse is that look at the excuse they were bringing those people lose their cattle they lose their cattle be careful lest you allow the devil cheat you by putting a very doubtful heart and you keep looking and say are miracles really real do people really get healed is it true it's a big shame that when people are healed we associate it most of the time to witchcraft power so we agree that witches and wizards can heal and then we are saying the lord of glory cannot heal verse 18 oh, oh, oh. but the jews did not do what the jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind that's another thing so you either say the man of god is not a genuine man of god or the miracle that happened is not genuine that's what they said they said we don't believe that the man has been born blind and received his sight until they called his parents so you can watch people ss genotype in your presence chain and he said there's no way i'm studying medicine or i'm a doctor this thing cannot happen or you watch somebody holding a crutch get healed or somebody blind or deaf or someone oppressed liberated and you say just like that just like that what are you doing are you seeing two things can happen when your heart is not open to receive you can sit down and keep doubting this man of god is he using something if it's easy to get the something get it how many of you remember one gentleman called sadiq ibrahim i never knew it was so difficult to get power from the kingdom of darkness until that guy came he came to give some of you were around that miracle service this guy was a terrorist he was a terrorist 
he was part of the people that trained those who fought for post-election violence and he came was dying of hiv right dying of tuberculosis he had slept in the grave three days he said he could enter a church and look at a man of god and blow this whatever magic portion and the man of god would just get confused on the stage so he came for koinonia just like this and he was sitting outside hallelujah as soon as i came up on stage when he saw people falling he said there's power in this place whether there's witchcraft power or god's power there is power in this place because he knows what it means the kind he went to sleep in the grave for three days murdered little children and used their blood for sacrifice so that guns will not enter his body just for that little thing see the sacrifice you think it's easy to get power from satan get it hallelujah that guy was there he's on video as soon as i stepped on stage he said as soon as i came on stage all he saw was light and fire and that was the end of it he didn't even know when he collapsed then i called him by word of knowledge and i said he should come he's on video go and watch it right there he was healed of hiv he was healed of tuberculosis the results were there i mean some of you we then we used to meet also there he testified he gave his testimony it was verified it shocked him that was when he made up his mind they were still looking for him to kill him brothers and sisters the power of god exists miracles still happen i know that many of you believe but you have not received that reality that your situation can change tonight i believe god for somebody let's trust god together let's trust god together let's trust god together and say lord it can change it can change that genotype can change they refuse to allow you marry because you are ss that genotype can change that genotype can change you must not understand how everything can happen the bible says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of how a child not the way of the wind that's how you do not know the work of god there are certain dimensions that are inexplainable hallelujah selena is here where is selena wave your hand i think it was her auntie that that one time we prayed for she had triplets right or something the children are still alive triplets one two three three children i just felt a need to clear this air because some of you come with all kinds of cynical spirits and you have problems that are killing you but rather than opening your heart you are there just wondering is god really the one doing this can somebody just fall down like that without being touched is it really true is it real it's not your fault it's the way some of us were raised you don't have to be angry listen listen when you ever hear a man criticizing a man of god don't blame the person never insult the person they are only talking that while we were insulting jesus christ on the cross what did he do he said father forgive them forgive them never find yourself trying to defend yourself no no it's not part of your ministry the psalmist said in psalm 3 thou O lord art a shield for me he says you are my glory and the lifter up of my head i always tell people gamaliel spoke beautifully he said if it is of god no man can stop it if it is not of god it will fail there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you who is there like you there's no one beside you i lead the earth to worship you i lead the earth to worship you hallelujah lord jesus change our situations tonight there are many of us as you're sitting looking at me right now the problem that you have 
is only God that can help you because the load is too much are you getting me there are some of you it's like I see you in the hospital your situation right now is a matter of life and death your own is just it's not just admission maybe there is a terminal disease I remember a particular lady I was talking to I think she might be somewhere here a herbal is predicted her death today today this 25th the herbal is predicted that is today that she will die so when I got to hear about it I said interesting come and die here hallelujah just come and die here There is a rod of a higher priesthood. There is a rod of a higher priesthood. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking somebody tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am Is there anything To what for me to do I am that I am Prophesy. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Rise up on your feet and begin to prophesy. I believe you. Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe. I believe. I believe. Everywhere, inside and outside, connect. This is the moment of faith. I'm about to step back and let this most Holy Spirit step into your life. Is there anything? Too hard for me to do. I, I am, am that I am. I am. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Come on, celebrate the God of miracles. Oh, oh, oh. Is there anything? For him to do, I am that I am. Is there anything too hard for him to do? I am that I am. Lift your hands, everybody, and let us worship him. Emmanuel, 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 your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, just the voices. Emmanuel, come on, call it. 
his name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Your name is God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says, with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible? With God. Involve God. And it becomes possible that sickness will never go but with God that sickness suddenly leaves that situation will never change but with God that's why we're singing that song Emmanuel Emmanuel Hiya. Emmanuel 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 His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people, mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people, very mightily. By the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving at the count of three there will be such a move of the spirit in this road let me have the people outside thank you Jesus one two three let the power of God move right now right now is the fire of the Holy Ghost Emmanuel His name is God Emmanuel His name is called Emmanuel His name is called 
Emmanuel, his name is called Bring her. No devil will stop her. Your name is called presence of God no demon no devil no altar I don't care what altar of darkness my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God my secret place is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god my worship is calling you oh god take my praise Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalist. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing. In the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve, 
that at the count of three any power that is not of god inside and outside at the count of three we challenge those devils by the fire of the holy ghost as you shout three the power of god will rush inside and outside and there will be massive deliverances right now are you ready now one two three shout jesus shake up a pack of secretary i cause powers every wicked power every demon every activity of darkness i cause you now 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 every act of witchcraft by the fire of the holy ghost you come under the judgment of god inside and outside right now let the power of god bring deliverance for upon mount zion there shall be deliverance there shall be holiness and the sons of jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness i see a number of angels you're going to shout jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance thank you jesus are you ready now those outside i see the power of god like files of fire one two at the count of three shout jesus three we dethrone altars we dethrone yokes of darkness hallelujah hallelujah blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the, the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus name of our God bring the lady most high most high you're the Lord most high leave this girl in peace now go now let her go don't waste our time let her go now Bring this lady, please. I set you free. Now, out of her now, that devil of darkness. Blessed is he who comes. Hallelujah. Please help her, ladies. It's not easy, I know. Just fine. It's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Force her, she will come now quickly. I call you, Lord. Most high. don't touch her, she will come by herself. Most
let her go now in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ let her go now thank you Jesus I bring you liberty be free now in Jesus name she's free In the name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priesthood let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister to them. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I curse you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now. I speak to you, wicked spirit. Let her go now. Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther please let's save time there is a lot we have to do tonight Esther who is Deborah 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 you are outside that Deborah is wearing red you are wearing red red with black spots it's a shirt red with black spots Deborah come Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is Queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come on. While you hold them, look, guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria 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 I'm hearing the name Gabriel Gabriel who is Gabriel Gabriel please just save time when I mention your case Gabriel 
Gabriel is outside. Outside. The Lord is ministering to me. Outside. Gabriel, you are. Is it outside? Yes. Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel. You are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you. Because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady. And I saw something that looks like a lizard. And is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. Just leads to her heart region. And it's just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region that devil is a liar you'll be free hallelujah there's no time to minister to your individual needs are you following me now if god gives me a word for you i'll just pray otherwise ah okay. come 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 you must be set free now hold my hands out come out of her now out now blessed is he who comes i set you free from this captivity be free now Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You? Let me pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be set free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, the Lord is showing me about three people. There's a severe skin infection that is, you have done all you, it's a very serious thing. In fact, it's even embarrassing. It's even embarrassing. There are three people. This is one, there's, there's there's two more please quickly it's a serious thing you have you have prayed about it you have used drugs nothing has gone please i'm seeing three people it's time for god to set you free don't worry if there are still more people you can connect i'm just telling you the one that god is showing me. i don't care what it is we sang that god will set you free please don't come out here to try god it will leave i don't care what it is hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus as i pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of god is strong on my hands be free now in the name of Jesus, I cause that spirit be free now. In the name of Jesus, let him go. I set you free. Be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names. Hold my hands. Look at me. Look at me. I'm 
I've seen you tied. Not only are you, I pray that God will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let her go free in the name of Jesus. Let her go free right now in the name of Jesus. You're suffering from any kind of ulcer, any kind of ulcer. We're just flowing as the Holy Ghost is, is ministering right now. There is a lot to be done. So please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. Visit your people, oh God. These are the ones that you died for. Look how many people are inflicted by ulcers. I'll pray for you very quickly. Please, I want you to believe as I lay my hands on, on you. The power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out. Come out of her. Now. In the name of Jesus. Out. Out of her. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out! Out! Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out! Come out! I will pray for you and I will talk to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. He's able. Bring the lady shouting there. Hey, hey, hey. Say he's able. Let her go in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God he's able. able. God is able. God. Command that spirit of infirmity. Leave her right now. Never to return. Be free now. In Jesus' name. Complete freedom. showing me someone you came here i'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed it's like a terminal disease 
that's one of the major reasons why you came here the lord is showing me is a woman i think your mother someone's mother lying down the bed who is that person i'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation please who is that let's save time we have to really really be fast there's a lot to do who is that person please if you are the one just find your way quickly so i can pray with you Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? This one is a woman who is not you, but anyway, what's the situation? But it's a, no, no, no. What, what, just straight to the point, what happened? My body is very hot and the, the head is turning me like, move, I want to fall. This is the spirit of death now. You would have died before today. Hold my hands. I want to pray with you. You'll be free now. Thank you, Jesus. I set you free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What couldn't you do before? Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What, what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I pray for you. Just, just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabi, I've prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. <laughs> Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at This is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg, I don't know if it's a, if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually played football. You're a footballer. I had a fracture for eight months now. You have a fracture now on the leg. There is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hiya. The Holy Spirit. Young Gicho wrote a book. He said, The Holy Spirit, my senior partner. Watch what happens to this guy now. My brother. Look at me. You are an adult, so you will not tell lies. Right? Watch. I don't want you to miss your miracle. Where is the fracture? Exactly. Alright, watch what happens to you now. Lay your own hands there. The hands you'll be using every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You sense what is happening to you right now. Are you seeing this? Look at what is happening to him. You see the power of God? You see the power of God on him? He's laying hands on himself oh, and he cannot even stand again. That's the end of it. Stand up. Stand up. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. Test yourself. Look at this. Look at. See the guy is even rejoicing. <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture. Fracture on his leg. Come on, give Jesus praise for an onion. See. There's no, there's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you did. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. It never returns. Your leg. Come, 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 come. Don't worry. What's the situation? Yeah, pain. Pain there. Let me see. Just, just the, no, no, no. You don't need to lift your. Just that point. 
the joints here. Yeah? How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that, you woke up and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or I should just pray? <laughs> huh? All right, but seriously, let's pray. Hold my hands. Heal her, Lord. Set her free right now. The power of God is coming upon you, that leg. In the name of Jesus Christ. No pain. See, that's the power of God coming upon your leg. Check yourself. Check. Honestly. Check yourself. Look at it. The power of God is moving strongly. Check. Check. Do you feel any pain? You feel any? No pain is. She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. That devil has gone never to return again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodness. The Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now. Someone you have a hole, you used to have a hole in your teeth. Check it now. You will not see that hole there. Please check it and come out. This is a miracle that has just happened now. Please, I'm going to start praying in mass for people. But you will be very surprised. When, when that happens to you, just come out quickly. The Lord, show, once God shows me something, he has done it. Please check yourself. Check yourself. We are not faking this thing here. Make sure you check yourself. You will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ Please make sure you only come out for the cases I call. Why is he out? Eh? Okay, let me pray for you. Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we're acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here the hole has been there who knows about it only your sister knows about it and it's and you've been healed any pain now thank you jesus we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord now please stand up everybody i want to pray for eye conditions now let's just flow the way god is Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus will give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions 
heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who and is preparing to go to india for is preparing to go to india for surgery what of you yes sir what of you 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 have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation palpitation oh doctor doctor where's that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Ogasa, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay loud and you can hear it even when she is so it's a, you stethoscope, you can hear it. so it's a serious situation she'll be healed now you're a doctor now wait you'll go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of god is flowing through you just breathe in and out thank you jesus christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost be set free please check yourself lord have mercy on the father in the name of jesus how do you know now try it breathe in and out let's see thank you jesus christ let there be perfection in the name of jesus let there be perfection the devil wants to bring stroke as i just held you huh is that true you're already feeling half of you some okay you're that too of stroke because immediately i had i held your hand i just saw stroke father we rebuke that stroke in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy ghost be healed right now we are going to rebuke delay in marriage now rise up on your feet the devil is a liar please rise up on your feet some of you are smiling that means it doesn't concern you because those who it really concerns is a serious issue praise God hallelujah now I'm going to pray for you please follow me guys hallelujah most marital delays are demonic in nature and we're going to arrest it right now you can stand in for yourself you can stand in for your loved ones please lift your hands everybody you'll be amazed at what will happen right now everyone please lift your hands you can stand for yourself you can connect hallelujah at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus father i pray that as they shout that name every every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny goodness i sense the power of god in the name that is above all names father i pray that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two three i cast those spirits in the name of jesus let god's people go in the name of jesus out of them now by the power of the holy ghost inside and outside i command those powers to let you go now release their marital destinies now release their marital destinies now every cause that stops marriage in families in 
the name of the Lord Jesus I arrest it I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost shake it was he going to shout that name over this case the Lord is not done yet lift your hands again I want you to shout it at the top of your voice and as you shout that name the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado God is visiting situations right now thank you Jesus one shake it up two get ready now get ready with your hands lifted three be released now be released now be released now i command chains chains marital chains be broken by the power of the holy ghost i command chains be broken in the name of jesus be broken in the name of Jesus, be broken. Let marital doors open in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, seek out of the book and read. It said, none of this shall fail. None shall want her mate ladies wherever your husband is in the name that is above all names i call him into your life i call him into your life listen not a man your husband not a man your husband may he come into your life in the name of jesus and i prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names that sister that god has destined for you we release her into your life now 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 hallelujah now i'm going to pray for all sick people especially those who have come from everywhere while you come out do you have your prayer request please if you don't have it it's time to begin to write it now for all those who are sick you are sick in your body you came specifically for healing it's your time now please come out please come out come out just come and stand here everyone sick everyone sick inside and outside just find your way and line up here ushers just arrange them quickly Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing. In the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues. And then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Strange in the name of Jesus. I've been weak. Ever you were 
my God is yours. He can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I call sickness. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. He healed mommy in the name of Jesus. Too hot 
God for me to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. I am that I am. I am that I am. Is she? Now. That's it. In the name of Jesus. Please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Promotion neither comes from the east nor the west in the name that is above all names. I pray may the lord give you a miracle job in the name of jesus i speak it and i prophesy it 
may my God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus as you are lifting up that hands let an anointing come upon that hand keep it lifted please that hand that is lifted I pray let an anointing come upon it the oil of gladness that sets you above your equals receive it in the name of Jesus everywhere you have submitted your CV I pray may my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem against Israel I command right now let those doors of jobs be open supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive If you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a god that answers prayers here hallelujah this is the second time god is giving me this instruction usually we just pray on it and once we are done here but this is the second time the lord is telling me that i should take this request with me and i should pray over them through the night there is a God that answers prayers. And Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar. He said, Lord, behold their threatenings. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now we're going to pray. Hallelujah. These requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of god can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of god will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth i want you to know that within these few minutes i want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of God will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus we're going to pray Pastor Alpha come Femi come Benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy Hallelujah. Zekata baba baba kata prega de baladarash. Zekete prondo koso prega de baladarash. Sete pro shapara da baladarara. Zekete baladarabos. Everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say, Lord, whatever I wrote here is turned into a testimony. Zekata ta 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 pakata. Rapaka pro so so pretecate. Sidebo shopro dos coprendecate. Secata tabala rara. Shopro doko to pregadevala rabos. Lord, in the name of Jesus. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit change this situation change this situation in the name of Jesus we turn this to testimony Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because we got nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus name we pray hallelujah please everybody stand those who are visiting with us all those who are who came from outside Zaria please come out I'll minister to you now I want you to come out expecting the Lord there are so many people who have come from different places please just come out sit up I'll pray for them and I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came Lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from Abuja thank you Pastor Alpha all the way from Kogi State Eddie from Joss Lunging from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Anoint them in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Walk in greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. In the name of Jesus, you do glorious things. Take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. Take this anointing with you. In the name of Jesus, awesome to your locality, today. do mighty things for the kingdom. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take this anointing. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed 
God. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let an anointing Closed door that I see in the name of Jesus. I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take this anointing that it makes you mighty. Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. Shake it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray. I command the prophetic. Let it be activated now. Prophetic fountains be open now. Visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it an unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences dreams visions so i command leadership mantles leadership mantles take it now take it now take it now 
strong leadership mantles receive it receive it receive it hallelujah I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three different gifts will be activated in people right now one two three receive it word of knowledge word of wisdom prophecy tongues interpretation of tongues take it now I activate the full power of the spirit i activate it inside and outside take it let the holy ghost come upon you in power receive it receive it gifts of healing word of knowledge gifts of prophecy it will come like fire it will come like fire it will burn you it will come like fire it's the fire of the holy ghost the fire of the holy ghost two of you hold your hands hold your hand take it now take it now rapapashata ka i activate the gifts of the spirit every apostolic ministry in this place take the fire take the fire take the fire every apostolic ministry take the fire every prophetic ministry take the fire take the fire take the fire hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them take it ideas i activate it by the power of the Holy Ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom now i want to prophesy very quickly please i want you to shout amen every closed door over your life in the name that is above all names be open now be open now be open now every closed door be open now 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 i pray right now every opportunity you have lost i don't care what it is i prophesy right now receive restoration Receive restoration. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them Matebalaya. he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this faithful anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now I prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here I pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of jesus i release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing i command ministry grow church grow in the name of jesus hallelujah Lord, we give you the praise. I'm going to make an altar call right now. If you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus, please listen. This is a very serious moment. We're out of time. You've never made Jesus Lord of your life. Inside and outside, you probably were invited. You may have been a Christian, but you've never truly declared the Lordship of Christ. 
I'm going to invite you to come here. Or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing. This is the greatest miracle. Please, everybody, rise. Just one minute, just to encourage those who are coming out. Please, let's rise. Right now, you belong to that category. You are saying, Lord, I return to you. I don't care whether you've been born again before. Please, I want you to leave your seat and come out right now. Leave your seat and come out right now. You want to make a decision. You are making a decision for the Lord Jesus for the first time. Please listen. Or you've given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself backsliding. Don't wait for anybody. You are the first person. Please appreciate them. I believe there are people. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Inside and outside. Thank you for the courage. We salute your courage. God bless you. God bless you. Keep coming. Keep coming. It's a new day. It's a new season. You are saying goodbye to yesterday. And God gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday. Thank you, Jesus, for these ones. Keep coming. Keep coming. God bless you no matter how far. Keep coming. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed of anybody. It's a personal affair tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come. Lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart, you're not reciting a poem. I want you to say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood to set me free. I receive that freedom tonight and I receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of Jesus from today I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God Holy Spirit come and live in me I make up my mind to live for Jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus Christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the lord jesus may your christian experience be authentic in the name of the lord jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate jesus hallelujah Please, all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the Lord brought you here to bless you. Thank you so much. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Lord Jesus, we thank you for bringing these ones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming. All of you who took out the time to come. We really celebrate you. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia. Ministry put to, a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace you always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house and this is the gift we release to everyone who comes and i want the saints of god to stretch their hands and just bless you i want you to receive it please bless them professor you have a blessing upon your lips i want you to speak it we bless you let the hand of god be strong upon your life in the name of jesus we bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit we bless you with passion for god in the name of jesus we bless you with advancement we bless you with favor we bless you with speed in the name of jesus may you experience the power of god strong in your life we bless your finances let the heavens be open over your life in the name of jesus thank you again for coming we love you and we celebrate you now we just like you to follow the ushers that gentleman waving his hands and they welcome you more warmly on our behalf koinonia celebrate them very quickly
Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.